Remember when I said you're gonna need to buy a new PSU if you're looking to get an RTX 4080? Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg because if you're looking at getting the RTX 4090 Ti, you're gonna need a fucking power station. But before we get into that, here's a quick word from this video sponsor. Andy, what are you watching? It's, uh, it's, it's not what you think. Wow, it's so big. Why, thank you. It's the new AOC AG493 UCX. 49 inches of pure performance and a refresh rate of 120 hertz. It's so fast. You can even do two at a time. What? You can connect two devices at a time and split the screen. With FreeSync Premium Pro, a 32 to nine aspect ratio and a built-in KVM, you'll be finished in no time. Gaming, I mean. What, what did you think I mean? Get your mind out of the gutter and click the link in the description to find out more. So if you're still watching after that somewhat colorful intro, I think it's safe to say, I've piqued your interest. And if you've not seen a video on the RTX 4080 that we put up last week, I'd definitely go and check that out first. As I go through quite a lot in terms of power requirements on what's more than likely going to be the most popular mainstream GPU of 2022. Now I say 2022, but some things I've heard on the grapevine are suggesting that the RTX 4080 and other 40 series cards won't actually be here until 2023 likely to be around CES time in January of the new year. But these same rumors I've been hearing, and I say rumors, though they are from very reliable sources, are also saying that the one and only card that will launch this year is the RTX 4090 Ti. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, the prolific leaker, copite 7 kimi has been at it again, and has been detailing the new Ada Lovelace GPU, also known as PG137SKU0, with a GPU core AD102, 450A1 on Twitter. And while they don't, I guess, explicitly say that this is an RTX 4090 Ti, I think it's safe to say it probably is because those specs are pretty damn crazy with a whopping 48 gig of GDDR6X memory running at 24 gigabits per second. The big thing about this card and all RTX 4000 series cards have come down to power. I mean, this is literally the only thing people have been talking about. And if this rumor, which for those not aware, Copite 7 Kimi has been bang on with most things in the past is anything to go by, then this card, which we're pretty sure is the RTX 4090 Ti, will use up to 800 watts of power. Yes, 800 watts for the GPU only. I mean, how crazy is that? I mean, we all knew that power limits were gonna be raised for the 4000 series, but I don't think anyone was thinking it would be quite this high. I mean, we get people all day, every day, coming onto our Discord, link down below, asking about system builds and power supplies. And for the most part, they're looking at around 750 watts for their whole system. This beats that. And it's just the graphics card on its own. Now, if you couple this with all the talk about transient loads and power spikes that take the cards well above their rated power specs, I think it's safe to say that you're going to need a PSU that gives you quite a fair bit of headroom. Otherwise you might start seeing issues like blue screening, restarts, and just general instability issues. And from what we've seen, this is gonna be the case for all 40 series cards, not just the power hungry 4090 Ti. So don't say I didn't warn you. So if this is true, and again, I have no reason to think it's not based on previous leaks from the same person, there are some other things we can kind of deduce from it. Firstly, if a card is going to have a TDP of 800 watts, the only sensible way to power it would be through two 16-pin PCI Express 5.0 power connectors, which are said to be able to supply around 600 watts per connector. And don't worry, you can store your spare cables in the eTechnics cable organizer, available over on store.etechnics.com. What is plain to see is that we're now starting to see more and more brands release units with these connectors in preparation, and it's kind of got me thinking, I know, scary thought, but it can't all just be a coincidence, can it? There is one thing that I am keen to find out the answer to in regards to this 800 watt TDP. Is this for a founder's card or are we talking something a bit more exotic like a Gigabyte Gaming OC card or a Zeus Strix card or EVGA Kingpin? Because if we're talking about a founder's card, then what could we expect from the ASUS and EVGA cards with unlocked power limits? Can anyone else smell a, I don't know, power supply 
supply and demand issue come in in the near future? I know I can. And don't worry, I'll be sure to let you know once I have more information. Now, sticking with power, and when I mentioned at the start about having a power station, just think about it for a second. Is this now kind of why we're starting to see a lot more higher wattage units being released with the Corsair HX1500i being launched this month and the likes of Thermaltake unveiling 1650 watt models, even down to Silverstone announcing their absolutely, frankly, bonkers, crazy, hella, it's the actual name, 2050 watt platinum PSU last year, which at the time I thought was down to the mining craze, but I don't know, it's now starting to build up a better picture and make a little bit more sense though that only came with a measly 12 pin GPU connector. So maybe it's due a little bit of a refresh. I can't see how hard it's gonna be just changing the cable as long as the pinouts are the same. What I'm trying to get at is that it seems they are all preparing for what's to come, but the story doesn't end there as power only shows, I guess, one part of the story, because one thing is clear, this is going to be a stupidly power hungry card. And with 48 gig of VRAM, some would argue, is this a 4090 Ti or could it actually be a Titan card? All we know is that with this amount of power and the fact that the card is also reported to have 18,176 CUDA cores, giving us some kind of indication that it's all about performance, it's going to get very, very toasty. And with there already being rumors about Nvidia working on a triple fan cooler for their RTX 40 series cards, it's now starting to build a bit more of a picture in our heads as to how beefy the cards will be. I mean, the RTX 3090 Ti was already a huge step up in size compared to the RTX 3090. So are we also gonna start seeing issues with cases being too small to house these beastly cards? In a market where mid-tower cases are the dominant favorite, could we maybe see a shift over to more fuller-sized tower cases? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Though when that will be, it's still anyone's guess. With Gamescom coming up, are we maybe expecting Nvidia to at least drip feed us something concrete about power, size, performance, or even what models are actually going to be launching this year. I mean, anything, anything would be nice. With the fact that Nvidia typically makes a big song and dance at Gamescom, it wouldn't surprise me if they did something, however small. One thing that is funny is we've not actually heard anything on the AMD front for quite some time. I mean, is RDNA 3 still going ahead? Are AMD just better at keeping things under wraps? I mean, Nvidia still have huge market share over AMD, but with Intel slowly but surely entering their arena, things are starting to heat up. And I'm not just talking about how much heat will be coming from these 800 watt beasts. So let me know, what are you expecting from the RTX 40 series? And more importantly, the 49 ETI. Do you think we'll see it this year? And what about the lower tier cards? Are they kind of more than likely going to come out in early 2023 instead. I'd love to know your thoughts, so whack them in the comments below or head over to our Discord. Again, link is down below. One thing I do know is that as soon as we can lift the lid on performance and more importantly, power related figures, you'll be the first to know, along with, of course, our Patreon. So if you fancy supporting us in everything we do, consider signing up to get a whole host of benefits, including special access on our Minecraft server, special, super secret areas on our discord and yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you have a system that's going to be capable of running these new power hungry cards again let me know in the comments section below what psu are you running now will it be able to run these new cards especially this supposed 49 eti i want to know is it going to be up for the job and if you like this video subbing a like to the channel would be amazing and i'll see you in the next one see you later guys bye bye